gyfeillion ag, ag an capital gydig o anhon ac ag an ag chysgob Cymru ac esgob Bangor llwyso cynnes iawn i chi i gydig o anddeunol sant heddiw ma. I'r fangre hon lle bron i filenniwm a hanner yn ôl y cychwynnodd gyrfa esgobol deuniol dyma ni'n gath dathlu heddiw i ddathlu dechre gyrfa esgobol arall ac i gadw mewn gweddu Dorian Davis wrth i wynnu dogaeth bwerus o gychwyn fan hyn. Welcome to this very important place where for almost a millennium and a half faith and hope and love have been known since Saint Daniel erected that very first banger around his enclosure in the year 525. It's wonderful to gather today to pray that that same faith, that same hope and that same love might be known in the life and in the ministry of a new bishop of Saint David's to be consecrated and ordained here today. Everything you need for our service is in the order of service in your hands. Do please, if you can, stay for a drink in the deanery garden, which is just to this side of the cathedral at the service's end. There are two processions at the beginning of our service, and the first will take place whilst we're still seated. So can I ask you to stay seated for a moment, and when you hear the bell rung, to stand and to be singing our opening hymn. Pleasant it is when kindred live together in unity. It is like the dew of Hermon that falls upon the hills of Zion. For there has God ordained the blessing, life forevermore. Alleluia.
yn enw'r tad a'r mab a'r ysbryd glan. Amen. Grace and peace be with you. And with you in the love of Christ. Dearly beloved, the church is the body of Christ, the people of God and the dwelling place of the Holy Spirit. All who are united with Christ through baptism are called to serve him in the church and in the world. Within this ministry entrusted by Christ to his church, bishops are called to be chief pastors and shepherds and to unite all God's people. With their fellow bishops, they are to guard the faith that comes to us from the apostles and proclaim the gospel of God's kingdom. They are to ordain deacons and priests and build up the body of Christ in loving obedience to the will of God. We have come together today to ordain and consecrate Dorian to the order of bishop, believing that God has called him to this ministry. We will pray for him and lay hands upon him, invoking the Holy Spirit that he may serve faithfully among God's people. We will present him with the outward signs of the ministry which will be entrusted to him. We will welcome him among us as a brother in Christ, and we shall send him out in the name of Jesus Christ, the Good Shepherd. And so as we gather to ordain, consecrate, and to celebrate the Holy Eucharist, we prepare ourselves by confessing our sins. Heavenly Father, we have sinned in thought, word, and deed, and have failed to do what we ought to have done. We are sorry and truly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us, forgive us all that is past, and lead us in his way to walk as children of light. Amen. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy on you and set you free from sin. Strengthen you in goodness and keep you in eternal life. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Gwethion, 
o ddiw diolch hwn i ti a mae'n galw trwy dy fab i gymdeithas eglwys dy gyffredinolion, gwrando'n gweddu dros dy bobl ffyddlon, fel y bod iddynt yn ei galwedu gaeth a'i gweinidogaeth, bod yn gyfrangau dy gariad, a dyro eithwas dorian, sydd yn awr i wodeinio a'i gysegru, ddoni a'i gras, sancteidrwydd a chariad, Trwy'r un i Esi Grist, ein gwaredwr. Amen. Darlluniad o lyfr y proffwyd Jeremia. Daeth gair yr arglwydd ataf, a dweud... Cyn i mi dylunio yn y groth, fyth adna bim, a chyn dy eni, fyth gysegrais, ond rhoedd eis di'n broffwyd i'r cenhedloedd. Dywyd eis innau, o arglwydd ddiw, ni wn pa fodd i lyfari, oherwydd bachgen nhw i fi. Ond dywedodd yr arglwydd wrthyf, paid a dweud bachgen nhw i fi. Oherwydd fe ei at bawb yr anfonaf di ar antit, a llefari pob peth a orchmynaf i ti. Paid a gofni o'i hachos, oherwydd yr oedd fi gyda thi i waredu, meid yr arglwydd. Yna, estynodd yr arglwydd ei law a chyffwrdd am gynau, a dywedodd yr arglwydd wrthyf, Wele, roddais fy ngeiriau yn dy unau. Edrych, fyth osodais di heddiw dros y cynhedloedd a thros y teirnasoedd. I ddi wreiddio ac i dynu i lawr. I ddi fetha ac i ddymchwelyd. I adeiladu ac i blani. Grandewch ar y hyn y mae'r ysbryd yn ei ddweud wrth yr eglwys. Diolch ar o i ddiw.
reading from the epistle to the Hebrews. Dearly beloved, it was fitting that God, for whom and through whom all things exist, in bringing many children to glory, should make the pioneer of their salvation perfect through sufferings. For the one who sanctifies and those who are sanctified all have one Father. For this reason, Jesus is not ashamed to call them brothers and sisters, saying, I will proclaim your name to my brothers and sisters. In the midst of the congregation, I will praise you. And again, I will put my trust in him. And again, here am I and the children whom God has given me. Since, therefore, the children share flesh and blood, he himself likewise shared the same things, so that through death he might destroy the one who has the power of death, that is the devil, and free those who all their lives were held in slavery by the fear of death. For it is clear that he did not come to help angels, but the descendants of Abraham. Therefore, he had to become like his brothers and sisters in every respect, so, he, that may, so that he might be merciful and faithful high priest in the service of God, to make a sacrifice of atonement for the sins of the people. Hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. Arwydd o fo gydach chi. Grandew Hefengel Christ on all Saint Lic. Bryd hynny, daeth Iesu i Nazareth, lle yr oedd wedi ei fagu. Yn ôl e arfer, aeth i'r synagog ar y dydd sabod, a cododd i ddallen. Rhoddwyd iddo, Llyfr y proffwyd y Zaiach, ac agorodd y scroll, a chael y man lle'r oedd yn ysgrifenedig. Y mae ysbryd yr ardwydd anaf. Oherwydd iddo fynainio i brygethu newydd da i dlodion. Y mae wedi fanfon i gyhoeddi rhyddhad i gacha orion ac adferiad golwg i ddaethlion. I beri i gorth rhymedig gerdded yn rhydd, i gyhoeddi flwyddyn ffafr yr ardwydd. Wedi cair sgroel a'i rhoi'n yn ôl i'r swyddog fe eisteddol. Ac yr oedd llygaid pawb yn y synagog yn syllu arno. A'r eiriau cyntaf wrthynt oedd heddw yn eich clyw chwi y mae'r ysgrotho hon wedi ei chyflawni. Yr oedd pawb yn ei gymeradwio ac yn rhydd feddu at y geiriau grasusol oedd yn dod o enau ef. Gan dweud, honed mab Joseph yw hwn, ac meddai wrth hynt, diau yr adroddiwch wrthydd y ddihareb, feddig iachad y hun, a dweud yr hoff bethau o clwsom iddynt ddigwydd yn hyperneum, gyna chwi yma hefyd ymhrod y febyd. 
ond meddai yn wir, rwy'n dweud wrthi, nad oes dim croeso i'r un proffwyd ym mhro a'i fedyd. A fy'n gwir, rwy'n dweud wrthi, yr oedd llawer o ragedd gweddw yn Israel, yn heddiau Elias, pan gaiwyd y ffyfafn am ddair Yr y byd yn ymwneud â'r wlad, ond nid at i yn fonwyd Elias, ond yn hytrach at rai gweddw yn Sarepta. Ac yr oedd llawer o wahanglaifion yn ymwneud â'r byd Elisius, ac ni lahan ond yn hytrach nam yn y Syriad. Yn llanwyd pawb yn y synagog a dechan y bwriasant ef allan o dref a mynd â'r ffyrdd a chawr y ffyrdd yr oedd a'i tri ond Ef, drwy yn ôl, a chymau, a chymau. Dyma'r efengl yr ardwedd. Byddai di mi siarad yn enw y diw byw y tad a mab ar ysbryd glan. Amen. O newch chi eisiau, would you please be seated? Wel, gyfeillion croeso cynnes bob un ohonoch chi fel y mae'r isdeon wedi dweud ac yn wedig pawb sydd wedi teithio o tiddewi braf cael eich cwmni yma heddi. It's such a delight to welcome you all here, particularly those who've traveled uh, from the south. I'd like to uh, welcome you all, but especially could I publicly thank those who've made this service um, possible, the immense amount of work that's taken place across the province here in Bangor, in the Diocese of St. David's, and uh, of course in the national office. I'm so grateful to all of you for your, uh, your work. So, she said, can you give me three words to describe you? Surrounded by the opulence of a roaring fire, tartan wallpaper, and a pile of fat gold coins. Competitive, he said. Cruel. And then his smirk, finally buckling into a full-blown grin. A traitor, he says. She lets out a gasp of delight. It's game on. Are you one of the millions gripped by the latest offering of reality TV? If so, you'll know the actors, the plot, the intrigue of the latest block-busting TV series, the ancient duel of good and bad of right and wrong, dark and light. There is something compelling, imaginative here. And there we sit, popcorn in hand, riveted as chaos blooms before us. And like children of yore, behind the sofas with Doctor Who, we sit from the safety of our chairs. But the traitors is for TV, isn't it? Heavy 
cyfeillion i ni wedi dod yng nghyd am reswm gwbl wahanol. I ni ddim yma ar ein sofas, dos dim popcorn gyda ni, a dyn ni'n swnio nodyn gwahanol ac yn dweud stori wahanol hefyd. I ni yma i cysegru esgob newydd yn eglwys ddiw. Gweithred sy'n ein cysyllu a hanes cyfoethog yr eglwys gyffredinol ac apostolaidd. Mae ffydd ddiw bob amser yn ein clymu un gorffennol. Ac y mae ein hysgob newydd yn gyfrifol am alwad hynafol hefyd. Sydd bob amser yn cael ei gwneud yn newydd yn ein hoes ni. Se fo wneud iesu yn hysbys yn yr eglwys ar fyd. Sut bydd hyn yn digwydd? Mae gen i drí gwahoddiad i'w gwneud i fy nghydweithwyr a ffrind fi hefyd. I have three things I want to invite my friend and colleague to embrace if he will make the ancient task of making Jesus Christ known to the church and the world relevant today. And the first, above everything else, your supreme concern to grow deeper and a more extravagant love for Jesus. Because this is how scripture sees it. There was a woman in a town who had lived a sinful life and learned that Jesus was eating at the Pharisee's house. So she came there with an alabaster jar full of perfume. And as she stood behind him at his feet weeping, she began to wet his feet with her tears. And she wiped them with her hair. She kissed them and she poured perfume on them. When the Pharisee who was there had seen this, he said to himself, if this man were really a prophet, he would know who is touching him what kind of woman she is, that she is a sinner. And Jesus answered him, Simon, I have something to say to you. And the rest is history. The example of this woman who showers Jesus with expensive perfume tells us all that we need to know about love by any standard, it was over the top, extraordinary. But a bishop, first and foremost, before anything else, is a Christian disciple who loves Jesus. Our vocation in ministry cannot be different from our vocation in life. When Jesus restored Peter, he didn't ask him if he trusted him. He didn't ask him if he would obey him. He didn't say, will you model me? He said, do you love me? Because this is the point at which the soul, the mind, the will, they all coalesce at this point, at the deepest part of our humanity, before competence in the pulpit, and you already have some of that, before choreography, at the altar and charism in the ministry area, Jesus wants Dorian and each of us to love him supremely, to love Jesus. A felly, fy'n wahoddiad a fy her i Dorian heddi i'w creu cariad dyfn at Iesu, torri'r mold yn y peth yma, byddwch yn dewr yn eich cariad tuag at yr Iesu, a chael yn dy gapel di yn aml iawn i weddio. Nid oherwydd bod yn rhaid i chi, ond oherwydd y fallai y byddwch. Ac i sylli ar y gweredwr cdwyfus, awdur a pherfeithydd fi. Nid hwn fydd yr unig 
le bod cariad at Grist yn cael ei feithrin ynddo ond un lle fydd. If there is no love for Jesus, dearest friends, we will be clanging gongs and noisy cymbals. We will be little more than a sterile set of tasks to which we commit, and that is not enough. My second invitation is to grow a deeper, more extravagant love for the church. Jesus said that the shepherd lays down his life for the sheep, and a shepherd is called, a bishop is called to be a shepherd. And if Jesus shows his love for us like this, it is the same selfless act of giving that we should embody. The one who was plunged into the depths calls us to stand alongside those who live in shadows, in dark places, in the ghettos, where few, if any, will dare to go. And leading a church into that space, that dangerous, difficult space, is hard. Leading by example is harder still. Love like this is passionate, it's gritty, it's real. It shows itself in the way others become our deepest concerns. And let's be honest here. You will encounter the angular, the trouble, the obstreperous, the awkward. And that's just you I'm talking about. <laughs> it's wishful thinking to imagine that at every stage you will want to bless every pastoral occasion with kindness and grace. But when he died, next to two criminals, and endured the insults, remember he drew upon the Father's strength to love the unlovely and to bless where curse might have been instinctive. Of course, in our Pethamaya Scopion and Ebrobi, you dad Leoliad Penodol ar adegau allweddol o'r flwyddyn, ac yn enwedig dros amser yn ydolig ar pasg hefyd. Nid oes gennym gynulleidfa. Na chynulleidfaoedd i rhannu'r amseroedd ar tymhorau hyn anhw. Ac felly mae eraill yn cymryd y rôl honno. Un cynulliad gyna chynulleidfaoedd yn achlysurol, ond yn enwedig Cydweithwyr agos, dyna'r rhai y byddwch chi'n ei gwasanaethu mewn ffordd arbennig. Felly, adaleidwch nhw, gweddiwch drosdyd, gwnewch nhw'n wrthrych eich egni a gydewch i'r gwasanaeth cariad ysgwn nhw greu atebolrwydd cadarn a chryf. Bydd angen i gariad fod yn galed yn ogystal a thosturiol. In this task of loving the church, there are two spurs. And here I want to speak to your senior colleague, Dorian. There will be times when, if you are courageous, you will make mistakes. Senior team, learn to love your bishop even more than you do now. And Dorian, when you mess up, learn to love yourself. This is the call of Christ. Craft an extravagant love for the church. And lastly, build that love, that extravagant love for the world. Remember John 3, 16. God loved the world so much that he gave his only begotten son. Be extravagant in your love for the world and lead the church in loving the world. In that commitment to sharing the good news and in acts of transforming kindness which reflect his deep love. In this service, 
Isn't it wonderful? Here for the first time in this place, we have brought the cross of Wales into our worship. What a delight. Reminding us of the cross on which Jesus died, which compels us. Woe to me if I do not preach the cross of Christ, said St. Paul to those in need, to find ways constantly of blessing the world with the Christ who loves them, and to reach out with something that has transforming character. If you will do this, you will need boundless generosity. Diocese of St. David, dearly beloved of God, grow a generous love for the world with your bishop. The sower was extravagant. We read nothing about a rainy day in that parable. And when we learn to give away like that, I know God provides seed for the sower and bread for the eater. How will we learn to love the world in acts which are unmistakably and unreservedly kind? No thought of gain to us, no advantage like those in that parable of the sheep and the goats. We don't even know we're doing it. And so I began with traitors, the art of entertaining with imagination. Our tasks as bishops and as a church is to capture the imagination once more of the church and the world, less with dark intrigue, more with excited curiosity, less with the murky stuff, more the endless possibilities of what God might do next. We will need, if that is our calling, this radical love, this extravagant love I have described here. Dorian, will you live, love, and lead in such a way that has us on the edge of our seats. Pray it will be so. In the name of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Together, let us affirm our faith. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in the Holy Spirit, 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 the
Most Reverend Archbishop, we present Dorian to be ordained and consecrated to the order of bishop in the Church of God. Dorian, do you believe that God has called you to the office and work of a bishop in the Church of God? I believe that God has called me. Let the mandate for the consecration be read. To Andrew, by divine providence, Archbishop of Wales, the Synod of Bishops of the Province of Wales sends greeting in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Whereas we, the diocesan bishops of the province of Wales, assembled in the church of Dewi Sant in the city of Cardiff, are assured and satisfied that the procedure followed in the election of the venerable Dorian Paul Davis as Bishop of the See of St. David's was in accordance with Chapter 5 of the Constitution of the Church in Wales and its associated regulations. And whereas we are assured and satisfied in accordance with the Constitution of the Church in Wales of the fitness of the said Dorian Paul Davis to be appointed Bishop of the said See of St. David's. And whereas we, after due and proper examination, that there are no canonical impediments to the appointment of the said Dorian Paul Davis to the said See of St. David's. Now therefore, we do hereby confirm the said election and we do commit to the said Dorian Paul Davis the cure, rule, governance, and administration of the spiritualities and temporalities of the said See of St. David's. In testimony whereof, we have hereunto set our hands to this act and deed, this 29th day of November, in the year of our Lord, 2023. This is Dorian, whom we propose to ordain and consecrate to the order of bishop. I therefore ask you to declare your assent to his consecration. Do you trust that he is worthy to be ordained bishop? We trust that he is worthy. Thanks be to God. Will you support him in his ministry? We will support him. Dorian, you are to lead God's people in worship, witness and mission. You are to guide them in the way of truth and teach the faith we have received. Therefore, pray always for the guidance of the Holy Spirit that your life and ministry may be holy and acceptable to God. <coughs> Dorian Gelwir Escobion i wasanaethu pobol ydyw ac i o fali amdanynt. Gan y ddwyn ar gof y bigal da, a rhoes ei bywyd dros ei ddefaint, a maint i gariir y rai a osodwyd yn ei gofal ac i weddio dros ddim. Gan adnabod ei pobl a bod yn adnabyddus i hynt. Maint i arwain ei pobl mewn gweddi a mawl a llywyddi yn y cymun bendigain. A maint i fydyddio a chonfermio i fadau pechodau ac i fendithio. Gan y faithu pobl ydyw y mywyd yr ysbryd a'i harwain ar hyd y llwybrau Sanctaidrwydd. Maent i ddyrnad y meithrin donau'r ysbryd am hawb ti'n dilyn Clist, ac yn y siyni i wenu dygaethu yn a'i enw ef. A maent i ordeinio diakoniaid ac offeiriaid, ac i gymryd rhan yn ordeinio eu cyd esgobion. Fel pen ddigeiliaid, Mae'n y ddyletswydd arnynt gadw un dod yr eglwys 
llefari yn enw diw a dychongli y fengiliach el duriau. Ond hyd a'i clerigion ar bobl, a maent i hyrwyddo cyn hadaith yr eglwys ac i ofalu am bawb yn enwedig y llawd, y digartref ar anghenus. Gan ddilyn y siampl ar apostolion, a maent i gyhoeddi'r efengil, i lefari'r gwirionedd yn dewr ac i weithio dros gyfiawnder a heddwch. A maent i fod yn drigarog, ond yn gadarn. A maent i ddisgyblu, ond gyda thrigaru. Dori yn let love be genuine. Hate what is evil, hold fast to what is good. Pray without ceasing, be of good courage, never lose heart. Let no one suffer hurt through your neglect. Lay hands suddenly on no one. Preach the gospel. Heal the sick. Rejoice in the Lord. Before you are admitted to the order of bishop, I ask you to affirm your commitment to this ministry and way of life. And therefore I ask you, do you accept the Holy Scriptures as containing all things necessary for salvation through Jesus Christ our Lord. I do. Will you diligently teach and uphold the Christian faith as the Church in Wales has received it? By the help of God, I will. Will you promote peace and reconciliation in the Church and in the world? And will you strive to make visible the unity of Christ's Church? By the help of God, I will. Will you be loving and generous for Christ's sake to those who are in need and speak for those who have no one to speak for them? By the help of God, I will. Will you fashion your life according to the way of Christ and welcome all in his name? By the help of God, I will. Will you accept the discipline of the church and exercise authority with justice, courtesy and love? By the help Will you work with God's people and with the deacons and priests to proclaim the good news of Christ in the diocese in which you shall serve? By the help of God, I will. Will you play your part with your fellow bishops in serving the people of this province? By the help of God, I will. May God, who knows the secrets of your heart, give you the strength to do all these things through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen.
Praise God, who made heaven and earth. Lord our God, we praise and glorify you because in your great love you have formed throughout the world a holy people for your own possession, a royal priesthood, a universal church. We praise and glorify you for calling your people in every age to witness to your saving love and to proclaim the good news of your kingdom. We praise and glorify you that you have called this your servant to share in this ministry entrusted to your church. Anvon the Usprid Glan Ar Dwas Dorian, I Suid Agwaith Escob Un de Eglois, Llanu Ev Ar Gras Ar Grim Ar Rodaist Ith Apostolion. Fel y byddwr wir digael yn gofalu am dy bobl ac yn ei harwain yn y gwaith o gyhoeddi y ddengil a chybol dy gariad. Through this your servant, Heavenly Father, increase your church, renew her ministry and unite her members in a holy fellowship of truth and love. Give Dorian strength to be a guardian of the faith and the sacraments. As a teacher, give him the gift of wisdom and the grace of humility, that he may use his authority to heal and not to hurt, to build up and not to destroy. Defend him from all evil, that as a steward over your household and an ambassador for Christ, he may be blameless before you and bring him with all whom he shall serve into the kingdom of your Son, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit belong glory and praise, honour and worship, now and for ever. Amen. Amen. First, your view at Alwof the Enemio at Casegri, I Arwine Areglis, Men Santegri, A Grione. Amen.
Dorian, bydd ffyddlon i grys ddau bobl, bydd adfwyn ar hael, bydd gariadus a chadern. Dorian, preach the faith of Christ crucified, and witness to the risen Lord in word and deed. Dorian, may the Holy Spirit be your guide and wisdom in all things. Dorian. Gwylia dros braidd Christ a ymddiriedoed i'th ofal. Derbyn yr ysgrithyrau sanctaidd Dyma eiriau bywyd tragwyddol. Amen. of God, please welcome your new bishop, Dorian. Deni di oedd i'w ail ennyr y byd, dy gorff toredig yn gyflawn yn adnwyddiad dy greadigaeth. Ta'n nefydd yr argdwydd a fo gyda chwi bob amser. Rhan nhw'n arwydd o da'n nefydd.
we celebrate together the gifts and grace of God. We take this bread, we take this wine, to follow Christ's example and obey his command. Derchevoch eich calonai. Diolchun i'r argloedd ein diw. Iawn yn wir ein y dyletswydd a'n llawenydd, bob amser ac ym hob lle, yw diolch i ti, dad sanctaidd, holl alliog a beth ddiwiol ddiw. Trwy Iesu Grist ein hargloedd, a gysegrodd y rai a dderbyniodd a'i alwad i ddilyn y ffordd y gyrond. Roedd o ef, gelwais dy rai a awr deiniwyd i wenu dy geithi yn y dy eglwys, i gyhoeddi'r newyddion y da, i ofalu am y dy bobl, ac i weinyddu mewn llawenydd sacramentau dy dernas. Felly, gyda'r llir yngolion a holl gwmpeinu'r nef, gyhoeddwn o goniant dy enw, ac ymun o a hwy yn ei hemyn dy derfyn o fawr. Praise and thanks to you, true and living God, creator of all things, giver of life. You formed us in your own image, but we have marred that image and fall short of your glory. We give you thanks that you sent your Son to share our life. You gave him up to death that the world might be saved, and you raised him from the dead that we might live in him and he in us. Sanctify with your spirit this bread and wine, your gift to us that they may be for us the body and blood of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. On the night he was betrayed, he took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. the same way after supper he took the cup and when he had given thanks he gave it to them saying drink from this all of you for this is my blood of the new covenant which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come in glory. As he has commanded us, Father, we remember Jesus Christ, your Son, proclaiming his victorious death, rejoicing in his resurrection, and waiting for him to come in glory. We bring to you this bread, this cup, 
accept our sacrifice of thanks and praise. Restore and revive your people, renew us and all for whom we pray with your grace and heavenly blessing. And at the last, receive us with all your saints into that unending joy promised by your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory are yours, Almighty Father, for ever and ever. Well, just God, I'm here how to me, where you and and Haderis, as our Saviour has taught us each in the language of their choosing, we boldly pray. I'm here. Yes, he won the sin, doing a mouth behold our bead. Gwyn a bead a rai a elwyr i'w swper.
gweddion. Dyw ddi halog ysbrydolau stydorion ar ymroddiad i ddilyn Crist y bigal da. Cyfoeth o ga e wain i ddod gaeth ath ysbryd glan. I ddod a phobl ddiw o'u porthu wrth y dyfwrdd, dreiddio'n ddyfnach i ddirgeledd Crist a'i eglwys, trwy yr un iesu Crist a'i'n gweredwr. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Christ, who by taking our flesh gathered into one all things earthly and heavenly, fill you with his joy and peace. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Let us go forth in peace. In the, in the name, name of Christ. Christ. Amen. Amen.